Nigerian dancer Kathy recently organized a dance workshop for dancers. The workshop, which was put together to inform and educate participants on how to run a dance business, was held for six days in Ghana, Abuja, Ibadan, Lagos, and Potako. Heap TV was there to bring you moments. We are at the Best of Both World Dance um, Workshop. Thank you. <laughs> organized by Kathy. Um, we're expecting to get some lectures about how to run a dance business and as well as learning some really cool stuff from some really cool people. That's Kathy and AY Hollywood. All the way from Montreal Park to Victoria Island. If you check the Google map, I don't think so people will be working on Canada But at the end of the day, you know the crazy thing is, I, was, I wasn't picked. This was one of the things that I felt, you know, why do I need to do dance? Let me just do, let me do something I love. Luckily, I found radio. But not everybody will get a second chance. And that's why it's only one shot that you have in life. Okay. The point of this workshop is not just to dance. It's to discuss dance. It's to look at dance critically where you are and where you want to go with it. You understand? Let's stop complaining and let's start acting. The way you act as a dancer is the way you'll be received out there. Do you understand? Why do people, why do you put so much value in an entertainment industry and it doesn't respect you? Why? There's something wrong. Because if we look at our contribution to every area and sector of entertainment, we are used to market stuff. We are used to make shy artists look great and to earn 30 billion in their account. Where is our own 30,000 combo? I've learned a lot. Energy, the ability to learn fast the skills, the discipline and the professionalism that comes with the skills, the talent, everything. I've learned so much. The packaging. Me no say Oluwani. Oluwani. Me no say Oluwani. Hey, what do you do? When they talk, say dance and no go make a move. What do you do? When they talk, say they no go give us an endorsement. So we don't do this workshop for Abuja. Um, one of the reasons why I decided to support um, the dance workshop was when she sent me an email and um, I read through the you know the idea behind the workshop you know I realized this is one of the parts you know of um, um, of growing talent that is really missing a lot of a lot of young talented people in Africa Nigeria are not disciplined I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I can reignite the first love I ever had and that's dance so you can see I'm happy already all sweaty been dancing teaching and uh, having a good conversation with, with everybody came for the class it's a good walk, Sam, and I think um, it'll be better and bigger next year. And um, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, so far, I'll say I learned a lot of um, the business aspect of dance. Because I'm not going into the dance part yet, so I learned that um, you should learn to learn, relearn, and unlearn. It's been amazing. It's been just like the energy, the passion, the people in the room. I can just tell that people are here to get better and gain the, the most knowledge that they can. And it's just been just a spiritual moment ever since I got here. My first time here. So when I watch it, I comment on it. But as a concept, I think it's fantastic. And we should always encourage young people to participate in arts. And you call it the dance workshop. We respect dance, we respect culture, we respect tradition. And it's our identity, it's a form of identity. It's also one of the greatest forms of tourism. This is Lagos! Dance. What is this? Dance.